ignition and liftoff. The Axiom 3 crew launched on a SpaceX Falcon. NASA astronaut Tracy C. Dyson launched aboard the Soyuz. And liftoff of NASA crew 8. NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams launched from Kennedy Space Center. And we have liftoff of Pettit, Ochinan, and Wagner now on their way. NASA's SpaceX Crew 9 crew launched on Crew Dragon Freedom. As NASA innovates for the benefit of all, what the agency develops for exploration has the potential to evolve into other technologies with broader uses here on Earth to impact our lives on a daily basis. A robotic surgery tech demo that hopes to test the performance of a small robot that can be remotely controlled from Earth to perform surgical procedures. Obviously applicable to remote areas, but why we're setting it up here was to assess when there's a delay in the reaction, how does that change those people on the ground performing remote surgeries? Recently, 3D printing of metal took place aboard the station's Columbus Laboratory module. ESA's metal 3D printer deposited a small S-curve of liquefied stainless steel in the first test demonstration of the project. Operating the biofabrication facility, Dyson supported 3D prints of cardiovascular tissue samples. Findings from this investigation could lead to 3D printing organs, such as hearts, for patients on transplant lists. Another study called Immune Cell Activation seeks to understand whether microgravity influences the uptake of magnetic nanoparticles into immune and melanoma cells. The objective of this experiment is to design personalized cells that can target and kill diseased immune cells. For more than two decades, the International Space Station has evolved into an advanced microgravity laboratory for human space operations and science. The space station offers researchers worldwide the opportunity to utilize the unique environmental conditions of low Earth orbit. At any given time, crews in space and teams on the ground are supporting experiments across every major scientific field in the pursuit of discoveries about us, Earth, and the universe around us. Wow, look at that, holy cow. Wow, just look at the, uh, the penumbra on the river there, and then into the blackness, unbelievable. Are you ready for the event?
have liftoff of the 87th Progress Resupply Vehicle to the International Space Station. The SpaceX 30th Commercial Resupply Services Mission. We are excited to welcome the Cygnus SS Patty Robertson to the International Space Station. It's an honor for all of us to play a part in carrying her legacy forward. from Dragon. We wish you the best of luck. So Laura, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Undocking confirmed. Laurel O'Hara, back on Earth after 204 days in space. Endeavor departing. And splash down. Touchdown. Tracy Dyson is home after 184 days in space on her third space flight.